morning, year nine. Today we're going to have a look at lesson two. Lesson two, our learning intention is to revise using Pythagoras' theorem. Find, uh, revise using Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse. So at the end of this, you should be able to say to yourself, I can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse. I can express the answer as a third, which means leaving it um, with a, as a square root. And I can answer, express an answer to a specified number of decimal places. Okay, let's have a look at our theory. So our learning intention is as I just discussed. So let's have a look at our example. Here we've got an example. We've got a triangle, right angle triangle. Um, one short side is 5, the other short side is, is 12. We need to find the length of the hypotenuse. Um, it says in this example, I'm finding the answer to two decimal places if the answer is a third. So what that means is I'm going to find what it's equal to, put it in my calculator. If it doesn't come out as a whole number, I'm going to um, leave it under the under the square root. So this first one, hypotenuse squared um, equals 5 squared plus 12 squared. So c squared, I guess I should have written c on there. c squared is equal to, we put that in my calculator, 5 squared plus 12 squared, and I've got an answer of 169. Then what I've done is c is the square root of 169, and I found when I put in my calculator that that has come out as 13. Okay, we can get the next one. We've got r squared is equal to 7 squared plus 9 and a half squared. So that came out to be 139.25 when I put that in my calculator. r is equal to the square root of 139.25. When I put that into my calculator and pushed the button, it said it was 11.800 and then a heap of other numbers. So to two decimal places, it's 11.80. Example 2, find the length of the hypotenuse, leaving the answer as an exact value. So it's told me to leave it as a third, so I'm not going to find um, what it is to any decimal places. So C is my hypotenuse there, which is opposite that right angle. The two short sides are 2 and 5. C squared equals 2 squared plus 5 squared. So C squared equals 29. C is the square root of 29, which is my answer, because that is the exact answer. Finally, example three, find the length of the hypotenuse, rounding to two decimal places where necessary. First, convert the measurements to the same units. So this time around, I have got on here 1.2 metres, here 75 centimetres. I need to make sure they are both the same unit. So my 1.2 metres, I'm going to convert to centimetres, 120 centimetres. So that would mean if I put that on my diagram, that one becomes 120 centimetres. And then I can find, once again, find my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse squared is equal to 75 squared plus 120 squared, which is 20,025 Hypotenuse is the square root of that. Putting that in my calculator to fruit, decimal fit places, I've got 141.509. So the two decimal places, my answer is 141.51. Okay, so uh, the final thing I'll do just before I let you go is just make sure you know how to use your calculator. So we were putting that in 75 squared, we would go 7. And then we find that x squared button, 75 squared, and then we would go plus, we've got 120 squared, so 1, 2, 0, and we can see it up the top there, squared. Now we would go equals, and that would be 20,025. Now that answer is stays in there in that green answer, but it's also just in the calculator, so I can just come up here and go square root. Now, if I just go equal now, it'll put answer in there. 
So I went square root, put the answer in, which I had last time, gives me 141.509717, which is what I wrote down here. And so the two decimal places, 141.50. All right, have a good day.